His Royal Highness, Prince Kutuza, Induna Kenecha, other princes of the Kingdom of Swaziland, delegation of princes and princesses from His Majesty King Swati III, King of Eswatini, members of the Royal Family of the Kingdom of Eswatini, members of the Zulu Royal Family, including Her Majesty the Queen Mother, Ndavgazu, Mazung. Their Majesties, the widows of His Majesty, our late King, the children of His Majesty, and our late reg Regent, His Royal Highness, Prince Mrs. Zulu, Her Royal Highness, Princess Nandue Caesar, and her husband, Mr. Moses Dembe, her Royal Highness Princess Numkosi, Her Royal Highness Princess Mukosbenvel, His Royal Highness Prince Bambinjovu Makosezu, His Royal Highness Prince Lungelo, His Royal Highness Prince Mandesizwe, and His Royal Highness Prince Simangaye, His Excellency, our former President, Mr. Jacob Zoma, the Premier of Kosovo Natal, the Honorable Mr. Sita Zigalala, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Minister Dr. Mkiza, Honorable Minister of Social Development, Minister Zulu, Honorable Minister of Human Settlements, Minister Sisulu, and MECs. Their Majesty's Kings and Queens of the Royal Houses, Amakosi of the Kingdom, Nkos Patisizwe Kileza, Chairperson of the Provincial House of Traditional Leaders, and all who are bereaved. I encourage us this morning with the Psalm of King David, which reads, The Lord is close to the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit and cold. Let us cling to these words for our hearts are indeed broken. Forty years ago, my nephew, His Majesty King Goodwill Zolichin Kapegozulu, came to see me and announced that his Majesty King Sopuza II had offered his daughter's hand in marriage. The beautiful young princess, Shiyiwa Mantombi, would become the great wife of the king. I was delighted, for I had the greatest respect for the monarch of Swadini, because I had gone a few times to attend Ngwala 
And 10 years ago, my late mother, Her Royal Highness Princess Makoko, Tom Sile Mantichi, Gangesi Inye Katinizulu, had been received by His Majesty King Sopuza II. I knew that the strong relations between our kingdom would be strengthened even further by this marriage. My heart, therefore, swelled on Wednesday when I saw the royal delegation of Eswatini bring the remains of Her Majesty home from Johannesburg. And I thank His Royal Highness, Prince Kutuza, who was my counterpart as Minister of Home Affairs in the Kingdom of Swaziland, as well as in Duna Kinitza, and the princes and princesses of Eswatini. On behalf of the Zulu nation, and on behalf of the Zulu royal family, we thank you for seeing our region home to go Kangela Mankengan. We express our deepest condolences to His Majesty King Mswati III and the Swazi nation. Your pain is our pain. For we have lost a magnificent princess. Queen Mantombi was a woman of tremendous dignity and grace. Simply from the way she carried herself, one could see that she was born to royalty. Yet her defining feature was humility. She had a deep concern for her people, particularly for the women of the Zulu nation. She stretched out her hands and helped them to rise. Many will honor her as a mentor and someone who lifted them up. She was truly a combination of beauty and brains. A wonderful combination. I'm not shy to say that I looked forward to her regency, for she would have surprised many with the depth of her mind and the extent to which she was dedicated to her people. It was that dedication that led her to accept this greatest burden of leading the Zulu nation. When his messenger, our king, appointed Queen Mantombi, she through his will to become a regent, she accepted an extraordinary responsibility. Her willingness to accept shows the strength of her character. As always, she put the Zulu people first. It is devastating that we lost her so suddenly in the prime of her life. More devastating still, when not two months ago, we were gathered at Kermitandai Palace having to lay to rest her husband, our king. One cannot imagine the pain of their children. Our deepest condolences are reserved for them. Our sympathy and support and our prayers are with them. So to our prayers with the Zulu royal family, we have lost so much in such a short space of time. The same can be said of the Swazi royal family. May the Lord strengthen us to bear such grief. We thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa, and the Premier of the Province, the Honorable Sise Zigalala Kuzin, for the support they have given us in honoring our Queen. In so doing, they have honored our nation. We thank the President for sending the Honorable Minister of Kokta. Dr. The Honorable Kosozana Damini Zuma, His Majesty Lady the Third of the Kingdom of Lesotho, has asked me to convey his condolences to the royal families of both Zulu and Swazi nations. His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Tavo Cecil Mahova, Archbishop of Cape Town and Metropolitan, has also asked me to bring you his message. My heart is sore and torn and certain 
by the laws of the region so soon of his majesty. I would have loved to be here, but I'm doing an official visit back here on the 18th of May and will take time in the chapel at Bishop Court to soak you all in prayer as you bury Her Majesty. I've personally conveyed my condolences to Prince Mangosu Chibutelezi and assured him of my prayers and the prayers of all the faithful throughout the country who are in solidarity with his Zulu royal family in the hour of grief. Please remember to love one another and to let this love so shine before all and God's name is glorified by your love and not by, not by your conflict. Of course, you are a family, and no family is without its tensions. But your vocation is bigger. It is that of faith and hope and love and the greatest of love. Our Lord Jesus Christ assures us of this love, unity, in the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 21, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. It is my prayer for the family, royal, royal family. This is my prayer for the entire Amazulu nation, your shepherd and father in God, Tabo, Cape Town. I would like also to acknowledge the presence of His Majesty King Sifren Peguzu Lunyangazizu as well as his children, Princess Tembi, Prince Mbonisi, Prince Bolinzela, Prince Matuvesizu, and Prince Mkolesi. Now, Nakoge, it is your army. In Taya Village, we are going to start to eat in Balbukos was a Swatini, the Lawazud. We did a stum, sent of Gaz, a Kaya, a swear a gold. Mongom Tanuku Dosa, Wangs are going to young and young, Nosha Sakaya, then in Dunukinisa, then I went on and Mokos and a Swatin. I come in the city of Mazulu, and I come in the day, and I come in the Mazulu. I have a letter, 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 Nobunene of cool. Oh, Peranje, in the Labe Petting Ayo, who born of Guti, law, was a little cousin. No Gunjalo, Uber Mundo, or Tobileo. Weber Catalela, Rock to Lea Bantuake, Yakulves Fazan, and Bessie Samazu. Weber Lulega, Lule Zanzake, Ava Kupul. Ava Nimbosom Sonifa, Dome Luleguabo. But Osha is a is a I'm not sure what you mean. 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 I'm Uba abe ibamba kuzi. Ya mugele mtualo mkulu. Ufu mawake, uba mugele na mtualo kukumbisa wana manza nubuntu baki. Jengo vamile 
Ukagoyanza, by Bagasi Samazurukal, Kupsunga Kulu, Uti, Isla Segele, Munga Zele Gangaga, Esang Kamane, Kupsungi Shurakurma, Marazuling Shone, Yang and Bidi, Sasang and Wakatum Tandao, Sifishumi and Wake, Incosiate. Unzi Mangishu Kavanga, Mupsung, Uzua is in Ganezak, Avantuana, Benkosi. Besiro Salafa Wakangela Makangan. Sizolana Nabu Nani Nabesilo Say Segela Futis San Segela Nakogong. Say Tembisa Win Segela Nakogong. Futsia Chian Tandazel. Tandazel Futu Umden was of course in Wonk. Ulasaleo, Junkuruma Zung. Miskati. Sushanagangag. One Elabang, you to the house of the national. Poison Kingdom, Abaka Sal Royal House, Uxola Ninjung Kul, Kona Namazi Abela Gumsonisha, Umengamelwe Chu, Muxule, Musonisha, Halima Masante, Numgak Mamchal Ukuku, Amanya Nenavasilo, Mazinane Silo, Zoaleta. Lizo, Emning, of Islami, Vasazama, Wasanganisa, Yobangenzile, Miskati, Ukotama Isilo, said. Now, by God's grace, may the daughter of Her Majesty King Sopuza II, the sister of His Majesty King Swati III, the great wife of His Majesty King Zulti in Gapagazulu, and the regent of the Zulu nation, rest in peace. Where no one's over. Where no one's over. By it. Libongwe, Libongwe.